Ah, it stalled again. Just keeps stalling on me. Better take it inside, take a look. Let's take a look at this and see what parts we need from 1AAuto.com. When you're checking for a stalling condition, one of the first things you want to look at under the hood is the airflow, how the air gets into the engine. The air filter is located right here. There's the air box. And just see if everything's tight. See if there's anything that's popped off, if any of these hoses have popped off. The air needs to flow past the mass airflow sensor into the throttle body and into the engine. The part we want to focus on is the throttle body. It's located right here and this is going to have the flap that opens and closes to allow more or less airflow into the engine. Well, sometimes that flap gets carbon buildup on the back of it and as you're driving, the computer does not know to compensate for some of that carbon buildup and that can give you some issues, could actually cause some stalling. You may not even get a check engine light and it's just the fact that there's too much carbon buildup on the back of the throttle body. Here's what the back of a throttle body looks like. You can see there's carbon buildup on here and that's going to give you some of those drivability issues and could even affect your fuel mileage. The computer can't compensate for all of that buildup. Um, less airflow is going to be able to get past there and it's not going to be as a smooth transition when it's opening and closing. Whether you're replacing the throttle body or just cleaning it, the procedure is pretty simple. You need to remove the air box, take the snorkel off, remove any of the bolts holding the throttle body on, disconnect the connector, and it should slide right off. There's some important things to note when you're cleaning a throttle body. You don't want to mess around with the blade itself. Um, you don't want to do this while you're cleaning it. This is why you want to remove the throttle body itself so that you can get to the back side and clean it. If you're doing it from the front side with it in the vehicle, you're going to have to move the blade like that to clean the edges. Um, but because the motors and the gears are pretty sensitive when moving this around, that can actually cause an issue and the vehicle may not uh, run and perform as usual, it may not be calibrated correctly afterwards. So be sure not to do that. And the other thing with the actual cleaner that you're using, there is a seal right here that could get into the electronics. You really don't want to be holding the throttle body in this position and allowing any type of cleaner to get into the electronics. They can damage the electronics. So try to hold it more this way or like this and just be careful if you're spraying anything in that area. You don't want to spray directly in there. It's always a good idea to use carburetor cleaner instead of brake parts cleaner. Um, it does not evaporate as quickly. And the best tool to use is an old toothbrush. And just kind of clean it up like this. Get some of that carbon up. You can spray it away. And it just takes a lot of time. Make sure you don't use that toothbrush after. Clean it up pretty good. So you're going to have to do that to the entire throttle body all the way around and even on the front side. that bottom cleaned up, but you want it cleaned up even more than that. So we got that pretty clean, looks pretty good, we're ready to go. All right, I didn't really clean this, obviously we got this at 1AAuto.com, we're going to put this one back on the car. Whether you're cleaning the throttle body or replacing it, you're going to have to do something called an idle relearn procedure. On most vehicles, you can just start the car and run it for about three minutes, shut the vehicle off for one minute, and then start it back and run it for another three minutes. The idle may be really high when you first do it, and then it should be normal by the end of the total uh, seven minutes.
Another way to do this is using a scan tool. You just go in with the scan tool and hit the idle relearn procedure and follow directions on the scan tool. So now your car is not stalling, it's going to be running better and if it's running better you're definitely getting better fuel mileage. If you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos and if you need parts for your car make sure you click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. Ah, oh, it stalled on me again. This car's running rough and it just keeps stalling on me. Ah, oh, it stalled again. <sighs> I forget what I was saying. Running better, you're gonna be getting better. Uh, let's do it again. Itself, if it has a, uh, pause there.